here's today's question, which is worth 15 marks. In part A, we have to write down the four factors of 45 apart from one of 45. Well, obviously two doesn't divide into 45 because it's an odd number, but let's try three. When we divide 45 by three, we get 15. So three is a factor of 45. And since the answer is 15, that means 15 must also be a factor. That's because when we divide 45 by 15, we get three. Another fairly obvious factor is five. Because it ends in a five, it must be divisible by five. And 45 divided by five is nine. So five and nine are also factors of 45. In part B, we're told that n is a whole number bigger than one, which has just two factors, one and n. We have to take whether this is a composite, prime or square number. In this case, it's prime because the definition of a prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself and one. In part C, we're told that p is a whole number whose only other factor other than one and p is seven and we have to work out the value of p. Since seven is the only other factor, if we multiply seven by any other number, then that other number must also be a factor. So in this case, both numbers must be seven. So the number we're looking for is 49. If you want, you can check yourself that the only factors of 49 are seven, one, and 49. Moving on to part D, we have to find four factors of 12K plus eight, apart from one and itself. 12 and 8 can both be divided by 4, so we can rewrite this as 4 times 3k plus 2. So both 3k plus 2 and 4 are factors of 12k plus 8. Similarly, this can be written as 2 times 6k plus 4. So 2 and 6k plus 4 are also factors. And that marks the end of this question. I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again.